A young Marine will not be coming home. 21 year old Ethan Hurtwick died in battle in Ukraine. Thanks for joining us. I'm Lauren Barnes and I'm Mike Landis. Now Hurtwick's parents tell us he died saving others. Fox 49's Carissa Codell joins us in studio tonight and Carissa, you sat down with his parents earlier today. Yeah, that's right. Ethan Hurtwick was just a few weeks away from coming home when he died in combat. His parents tell me the work he did in Ukraine was his true calling. You always question as a parent, are we raising our kids right? And now we know with our son, how he raised them good. And, um, and now God is saying you did well, good and faithful servant. At just 21 years old, Ethan Hartwick was training Ukrainian civilians to fight back against Russian forces. His heart was to serve the people, to train them, to make sure that they knew how to save, save lives and save themselves and to fight for themselves. If it wasn't Ukraine, it would have been somewhere else. Yeah, exactly. So. His parents, Leslie and John, tell me Ethan went to Ukraine twice. He was always looking out for people that, that needed help. Hurtwick was killed in what was supposed to be his last mission before finally coming home. Even one guy said, your son came here and died from, he, from my home, from my home, not even his own home in his own land, but here in my country, because he stood for freedom and what freedom is. Hurtwick would teach the Ukrainians with a mask covering his face because he was worried they would think he was too young to be an instructor. But they listened to him and they trusted him because they knew his heart and that he put everything into it. The Hurtwicks still have a part of Ethan by placing a voice recording of him inside a bear. All that's necessary for evil to triumph is for good men to do nothing. All that's necessary for evil to triumph is for good men to do nothing. And he used that quote a lot. The Hurtwicks are still waiting for their son's body to be returned. Until then, they're keeping up the Christmas lights. We want to kind of just keep the hope of Christmas, you know, mm -hmm. and that they until he comes home. home. And if you go to our website, ozarksfirst.com, you'll find more details on Ethan's time in Ukraine and the different ways to help the Hurtwick family during this time. Mike, Lauren.